Hello, Klein Forest High School. Thanks for being part of the 2023 virtual National Jazz Festival. It's um, well, it's live this year in Philly, coming up on the 22nd, and you'll see your uh, the award ceremony. So I hope you're online watching. Uh, my name's Wilbur Whitman, and I was one of your adjudicators. I'd like to talk with you about a couple things that we um, were discussing that I discussed with you on your on your score sheet. Uh, your soloing is strong. The harmon mute sounded really neat. I like that he stepped up in front of the band. Um, it made a nice blend and balance within the uh, um, with the background figures because usually harmon mute gets covered up. He's a good trumpet soloist. He did well. When we were talking about uh, soloing, I'm I want you to make and make this a, a, like for next year, right? Make it a priority to make sure the soloing, following the chord changes and how you approach your soloing is as important as the ensemble playing for that, right? In order to do that, the rhythm section can help um, clarify things. When solo sections and you're playing the form, when solo sections are done and then a new section is going to come up, maybe a sax soli, or something after after a section. The rhythm section can help set those things up, and I talk about that on your sheet. That's important. It, it, it gives it clarity of statement of the form of the piece, and, and that's important, um, studying form and everybody understanding, you know, okay, we come out of this, we go back to the bridge, or we come out of this, we go back to the, the, the second A of the form. You know, oh, we're going to a tag now, and then we're going to close it out. Like that should all be discussions that are done at rehearsals with you um, on those things. And I think that that would be good. I've got some notes here. I'm going to check over. Um, treat intonation with the same rigor that you treat notes and rhythm, right? If you have a wrong rhythm, you go back and you fix it. If something's out of tune and you have a tuner and you take the time to just stay and, and voice that one discrepancy that you might think section leaders, Director, it doesn't matter. You say intersectionals. Let's check this pitch at the peak of our shout chorus. And make sure that we're in tune with that. We get our tuners out, we check it, and we remember what it feels like to play it in tune. Go back and play the passage again and see if you can mimic that feel and, and check it again with the tuner. And then if it's not correct or you don't know what it feels like again, treat it as if it's a wrong rhythm or a wrong note and be diligent, right? Treat intonation with the same rigor that you're treating rhythm and notes. That'll be really helpful for you um, there. And a good spot I see here, coming. it was coming out of the sax solo, the guitar solo into the sax solo in your tune. Um, that's a good spot. And I even put what time it is. I think it was at the 15 minute mark on there. Um, so that, that worked out well. I have something else here, please. Uh, you have a very pleasing Barry sound on wave, right? And um, let me see what I wanted to say about that. With the, oh, utilizing fourths and ninths in minor. And you, uh, the trumpet is on that. And you're doing that too. But the chord changes in wave. There's a major seventh chord that you that should be a brightness of it um, at times in, in there. Look for it, right? And, um, and make the, the setup to it, perhaps, what we call a turnaround to it. No matter what the chord is before. You can even highlight that better. There's things in there that help with improvisation. I think I mentioned in the um, intermediate approach to jazz improvisation is a good one for um, things. And it just says intermediate does not mean it's easy. It's it's not. Um, and it's good for group or it's good for um, individuals uh, on that too. That's it. I, I, I've got more on here for you, but I want you guys, you know, expand your dynamic contrast, right? I think you can get even softer at times uh, for that. And and one thing was, I think the room was a little boomy you were recording in. You might find a drier room for another year where it's not so we can get, we can hear all the inner voices clearly on that. That'll help you. Um, you you've spent rehearsal time on, on a number of things that really have helped your band. 
Um, but sometimes, you know, the, you, you, the rhythm section or other playing a part, your dynamic on your part is in relationship to what's going on around you. It's not like, okay, I have to play loud. It says forte. Yeah, it's forte compared to what's more important. Is there a solo behind that? You're playing a background figure, but it says forte. Well, that's a, then start softer and bring that forte just not up to shout chorus forte, that kind of thing. Then balance those things. Know your role is important. Know your role. All right. Well, I hope that helps you. Thanks so much for being part of our festival. Hope to see you in Philly one day. It would be my pleasure to uh, speak with you there, too. Best wishes. Thank you.